Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Happy last day of September. It's crazy this month has absolutely flown by and I thought it's been a while so why not film a day in the life for you guys today. If you guys don't know who I am, if this is the first video you're seeing from me, hello. I am a sophomore chemical engineering student and I'm a big fan of carrying the camera around with me all day and just showing you guys a little bit of what I'm up to. It's kind of a busy day today. It's a Thursday. This morning I'm just getting a couple things done, nothing too crazy. I have a quiz in my first class, my chem processing class, so that should be fun. It's our first quiz of the semester so I have absolutely no idea what to expect. And then right after that class, I go to differential equations. And then I'm gonna run back down here, grab some lunch. I have work to do in the lab today. Uh, I have a meeting for Society of Women Engineers. It's, it's crazy. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me and I hope you enjoy. So yeah, let's get some breakfast. So Carlos and I are headed to chem process because we're both in the same section. So yeah, wish us luck because this quiz is going to be interesting. Finish the quiz and now go on a diffy Q. So just got back to the suite. Chem process went pretty well. The quiz, like I was saying before, I really didn't know what to expect, and I honestly probably studied like 30 minutes in total. So, with all that being considered. It wasn't too bad. I'm just looking forward to getting the grade at this point and then ran over after to Diffie Q because there's only 15 minutes in between each of those classes. And that also was fine. We started on a new section today, which was kind of cool. So yeah, that went by super fast. And then now I just ran back to the suite because I'm gonna make some lunch really quickly. And then I have to get back up to the nanobio engineering lab in the engineering building because I have lab work to do for a few hours today. So the time is currently almost 12.30 and I hope to be up there maybe a little bit past one. So we'll see though, I'm gonna make a quick lunch. Also realizing that today I'm really not gonna be able to get any extra homework or work studying done, which kind of sucks. But hopefully I'll have some time later, like after dinner maybe. I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to get a coffee today. Like, that's how you know guys, that's how you know. Just went for the classic turkey and cheese sandwich today with some kettle corn and a yogurt. Just finished my lunch and now I'm gonna head up to the lab. I honestly don't think I'm gonna get to film much today, but I'll be there for a few hours. Uh, we have a lot to get done because they're just beginning to write a paper on the project that they have completed. So I'm gonna start kind of helping out with that and we just have a long list of things to do. So probably won't get to film anything, but that's where I'm headed right now. It's currently just about one o'clock. Gonna walk up there and I'll see you guys when I see you, probably afterwards. Um, just as a heads up, I think I'm gonna be going for a run right after so i'll probably see you guys then i'm so tired of walking up this damn hill oh my god the lactic acid is flowing <sighs> It is 3.30 and I am exhausted. <laughs> I just got back from working in the lab and I basically just sat there the whole time and outlined cells that we had in these different images, uh, which is pretty easy, pretty monotonous, but damn, I'm really tired. I don't know, it's been a week. Like I said, it's Thursday. Every day is absolutely crazy and today is no different. So right now I am going to, even though I could probably take a nap right now, 
I'm going to get changed and go for my run. I'm aiming for probably like four miles today. I was going to do five, but you know what? I think it's just going to be four. The amount of steps that I've taken just walking up that hill is insane. So we're just doing four miles. Plus it's early. By the time I get out there, it's going to be like 340, 345. And then I have a meeting at five. So I don't want to cut it too close. Don't want to kill myself over here. So yeah, I'm going to get changed and go for a run on this absolutely beautiful day. It's like 61 degrees, a little bit breezy, but definitely that like fall chill in the air, which is super nice. And then after the run, go to the meeting, change, go to the meeting, and then probably get dinner after that. So that's what the rest of the day is looking like right now. Yeah, gotta get this run in. And I do technically have club track today. It's at 6.30, but, but, I got an email because I rushed and like interviewed to join uh, Theta Ta, which is a professional co-ed engineering frat here on campus. And they emailed me asking what I was doing between the hours of 6.30 and 9 tonight. So I figured just in case I am going to skip track for the day or skip like working out with the team and instead just like come back here after dinner just in case something happens. So honestly, like stay tuned for this vlog because something really cool with Theta Ta could be going on. So yeah, but that's why I'm not running with club track because otherwise I'm absolutely loving the team and the club and it is such a cool community and cool experience. But yeah, unfortunately I have to run by myself today. See you guys in four miles. I am here for the fall weather. That run was so pleasant. There is no more humidity left in the air. It is crisp outside. The leaves haven't started changing yet, but I'll keep you posted and let you know when they do. I also usually go running either first thing when I wake up or I'm doing it with track, which is later when it's dark out. Seriously, we've been running in like the pitch black darkness of night. Um, but anyway, I feel like running midday, I have a whole new energy. So I ended up going five miles, which was not the plan. And I also saw an old like high school advisor teacher. So I ended up talking to her for a little while. So it is currently 4.30 and I have that meeting, that Society of Women Engineers meeting that starts at five and that's up in the engineering building. So that's like a good 10 minute walk. I'll post the, the stats of the run or maybe I'll just show, actually I'll just show a clip of my watch so you guys can see what the run looked like. Again, five miles, felt amazing. I'm really glad I got that in so that now I can just kind of chill and get to this meeting. I'm gonna like stretch for a hot two seconds and get changed and then grab a snack and head up to the engineering building. I'll see you guys when I see you. That meeting only went like 40 minutes, so now I'm gonna go study. Wish me luck. All right, just finished up in the engineering building for now. I honestly was only there for like half an hour because I got super, super hungry. And yeah, so I'm gonna head to dinner at the dining hall, kind of use that time to relax, chill out, let my brain take a little bit of a break. I probably won't get a ton of footage, if any, in the dining hall because I'm expecting it's gonna be super busy because at this point it is like 6, 10. So it's prime dinner time, but I'll try to see if I can get something to at least show you guys what I'm eating. Just got back to the suite and I'm pretty sure I'm in for the night so I'm gonna take a quick shower and I'll catch up with you guys after that. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna be doing homework, studying, getting literally anything I can done because I'm really behind and I have some stuff due like tomorrow and Saturday so would really like to get some work done but I'm gonna take a shower first because I'm actually really cold and kind of gross and sweaty from the run earlier so I'll see you guys after that.
you guys. Hold up, wait, this is so crooked. Hang on, let me, that's a little bit, okay. But here I am, I took a shower, got out of the shower, like blow dry my hair, did my normal thing, you guys don't care. I'm walking back to my room and one of my sweet mates, Carlos actually, who was walking with me this morning, like you guys know him now, he was like, oh, the, the Theta Tau people are outside the door. Like, when you're ready, like go out there and say hey. So I went outside and I received a bid to join uh, Theta Tau, which if you guys don't know, I'll say it again. I know I said it earlier, is like the uh, professional engineering co-ed frat. So yeah, I'm super excited. I'm so excited. This was such like a last minute thing because I'd been following the Instagram page for Theta Tau at URI. For a little while now uh so i knew what it was and like but this semester i just decided to to go for it to go for the fall rush do a couple of the events at least and just see what it was about and i actually ended up really liking it and really liking the people involved so that's why i went forward with the interview and so to receive a bid is just fantastic now i'll just have another amazing community to be a part of and I can't wait. So I guess that's just another element thrown into today. Now the excitement is over and we're moving on to homework. I can't believe it, but I actually finished that chem process homework assignment. So. Honestly, I am beat at this point. It's not even that late, it's 9.10, but if I do get anything else done, it's not gonna be too exciting. Might watch a video on organic chemistry slides, but I'm pretty beat, so I'm gonna sign off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Honestly, I feel like today was a very accurate representation of how my days have been going as of late. Obviously, a very big difference from how my days looked last semester, last spring and fall semester. If you guys want to check out what my days looked like back then. I have a couple vlogs that you definitely want to go and see because the difference between my situation then and now is actually insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this one again. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and do all those normal YouTube things because it really helps me out. And I hope you guys are staying happy, staying healthy out there. And I'll see you very soon in the next one.